It's important to learn about the neighborhoods where our community partners are located. The rich neighborhood history shapes the communities you'll be engaged with. We can only provide a brief overview here, but we encourage learning about these communities and trying out new stores, restaurants, and cultural centers while you're an SU student. Seattle U is situated in the middle of five distinct neighborhoods, the Central District, Yesler Terrace, Capitol Hill, First Hill, and the Chinatown International District. The Center for Community Engagement has partnerships with dozens of nonprofit organizations, most of which are within a mile of the university in these neighborhoods. The Central District, located east of campus, is home to the schools that partner with the Seattle University Youth Initiative, also known as SUI. Bailey Gatzer Elementary School, Washington Middle School, and Garfield High School host SU students. We have several other community partners in this neighborhood, including Rotary Boys and Girls Club, Casa Latina, and the Food Bank at St. Mary's. The Central District, also called the CD, has a rich heritage as a predominantly African-American neighborhood. The first African-Americans arrived in the 1890s and the population grew until 1960. At that point, well over 90% of Seattle's African-American populations lived in the CD. Historically, the area was also home to different immigrant communities. Between 1890 and World War I, the district was predominantly a Jewish community. During the 1920s, Japanese residents moved into the area from Chinatown. Influences from these groups remain in the CD today. During the 1960s, the CD was home to many local leaders of the civil rights movement. By the 1990s, the district increasingly became home to Ethiopian, Eritrean, and Somali immigrants. When walking to your sites, you may notice the crosswalks painted in the Pan-African flag colors. Community members advocated for these crosswalks in the streets to reflect the Central District's history. The CD is gentrifying. The number of African Americans in the neighborhood is significantly lower than in 1960. The landscape is shifting from older homes to new townhouses. Higher rent and increased housing costs are driving out former residents. Local community groups are working hard to retain the identity of the CD and to provide affordable housing solutions. Capitol Hill is located north of campus. Several of our partners are located in the densely populated neighborhood, including Community Lunch on Capitol Hill, Seattle Central College Basic Studies Tutoring Program, and Jewish Family Services. The area was initially home to the wealthiest Seattleites. There was actually a millionaire's row here. Later, Capitol Hill developed as a commercial area for furniture, arts, and decor, and evolved into a center for the counterculture in Seattle. This is evident in the shops, art, and music scene, and publications that call Cap Hill home. Capitol Hill is the center of the large LGBTQ community in Seattle. Similar to the crosswalks in the CD, you may notice rainbow-painted sidewalks in areas of Capitol Hill, designated as a symbol of gay pride and to celebrate residents in the neighborhood. Just as in the CD, redevelopment and gentrification are controversial topics in Capitol Hill as rents in the neighborhood are increasing and former tenants are being forced to relocate. These are just two of the nearby neighborhoods. Check out the next video to learn more. Created using Powtoon.